feeling like you're constantly running on low battery, racing against time? Well, it's time for a change-up. We're about to take a deep dive into something really useful for you. Not just watching the clock, but really tuning into our energy. Think about it. While we can't stretch time, we sure can boost our energy levels. That's a game-changer for work and life. We've got Tony Schwartz, Craig Groeschel, and Chris Bailey lined up to walk us through some neat tricks to get our energy flowing again. It's all about being smart with the energy we've got, not just piling on more work hours. So are you ready to shake things up in how you work and live? First up, Tony Schwartz, co-author of The Power of Full Engagement, is going to break down why managing our energy is the real secret to being our best selves. We find ourselves today in an energy crisis. We know about the energy crisis that relates to the resources of the planet, but we ourselves have an energy crisis. This one is personal. We are at a moment, at an inflection point, where we know that the way we're working isn't working. We need a new way of working. We need a new paradigm for a new age. We need to learn to manage our energy rather than our time. You know, it used to be, until recently even, that if you needed to get more done, what did you do? You invested more hours. Well, that's fine, except time has a problem, doesn't it? It's finite. There are 24 hours in a day. There are 168 hours in a week. No congressional legislation is ever going to change that. Actually, no congressional legislation is ever going to change much of anything, it appears. So you're not going to change that, and yet you've still got to get things done. The good news is that energy, energy unlike time, is something that's inside you, and it has properties that make it a very powerful resource. It can be expanded, it can be renewed, and you can learn to use it more efficiently. We know that about objects in the universe. It is also true in terms of how we manage ourselves if we become more conscious and intentional about it. There are, it turns out, four kinds of energy in the human system. You can run a stove or a refrigerator on a single source of energy, but a human being needs four sources of energy. The first source of energy we need is physical. That's the quantity of your energy. It's the ground of all energy. It's what energy rests on. The second source of energy is emotional. That's the quality of your energy. Because how you feel profoundly influences how you perform. The third source of energy is mental. Mental is the focus of your energy. Mental is the focus of your energy. So if you have an ability to do one thing at a time, that becomes a very powerful source of energy. And then the fourth source of energy is the energy of the human spirit. That's the energy derived from the experience that what you do really matters, from a deep sense of purpose. Because if something really matters to you, is there any question that we bring more energy to it? So in other words, it takes a village, an internal village, to run our lives. Indeed, tapping into what's inside us is key for staying focused and getting stuff done. But do you know we all get our energy kicks from different things? That's exactly what Craig Groeschel is talking about. He's the brains behind Life Church, and he's all about showing us how our energy comes from all sorts of different places. If you observe your own rhythms, you're going to notice that what energizes you is going to be different than what energizes me. What sucks the life out of me is going to be very different than what sucks the life out of you. Energy management is an art. So, knowing that, this is what we're going to try to do. I'm going to say it twice. We're going to experiment to create the optimal environment and rhythms for your peak production and fulfillment. Let me say it again. We're going to experiment. We're going to try different things, and we're going to study the results. We're going to experiment to create the optimal environment and rhythms for your peak production and fulfillment. We need to acknowledge that different tasks take different amounts of energy. Different types of tasks that you do, conversations that you have, responsibilities that you perform, they take different amounts of energy. For example, creating content takes a different amount of energy than just sitting in a meeting 
which takes a different amount of energy than making decisions, which takes a different amount of energy than coaching someone or a different amount from giving a presentation. That's why you can do something that you just hate, something that you dread for four hours, only four hours. And at the end of that time, you are completely drained, frustrated, and exhausted. On the other hand, you can do something that you love for 10 hours. And at the end of the day, you may be physically tired, but you're emotionally charged, you're, you're replenished, and you, you may feel like you need a good night's rest, but you're ready to go and attack the next day because you did something that was energizing to you, something that was f- fulfilling to you, something that hit in the sweet spot. So have you ever paused to consider what lifts you up and what saps your energy? Understanding this could be the key to nurturing your energy with greater finesse all day long. Chris Bailey, the insightful mind behind the Productivity Project, Hyperfocus, and How to Calm Your Mind, has got you some strategies to help you master the art of energy cultivation. It's a simple one, but it's so powerful as well. And it's to cultivate how much energy you have over the course of the day. And this is common sense advice, but common sense, unfortunately today, when we're busier than ever, isn't always common action. Uh, And so doing the simple things like eating well, putting good fuel into our body, and elevating our heart rate a few times every day, and getting enough sleep. You know, sleep, I see it as this way of exchanging our time for energy. Why wouldn't we want to get more of that? Wondering how to keep your energy up and ticking all day? Let me introduce you to something pretty neat. The time flow system from the Lifehack team. It's like a secret weapon for those of us who are always juggling a million things and want to stay on top without feeling wiped out. Here's the lowdown on the time flow system. First up, your North Stars. These aren't just goals. They're your big dreams, the stuff that gets you fired up. Think of them as your personal compass, pointing you where you want to go. Next, Break those North Stars into bite-sized pieces called initiatives. These are your milestones, the steps you take to get closer to your dreams. It's all about making sure every step lines up with those big aspirations. And then, the magic happens with focus blocks. These are your daily power moves, where you decide what to do and how long to spend on it. It's all about smart planning, picking what's most important, and matching it to your energy levels. With focus blocks, you mix up your day. So instead of back-to-back intense meetings or brain-draining tasks, you sprinkle in some lighter stuff or even a break here and there. It's about keeping your energy balanced so you don't crash and burn by lunchtime. Want to give it a go and see your energy soar? Check out the time flow system. Just hit that info button up there in the right corner or click the link below. Trust me, it's a game changer. And now, let's wrap this up and tie it all together, shall we? Today. We've dived deep into the world of energy management with some fantastic insights. Tony Schwartz got us thinking about our personal energy crisis. It's not about pouring more hours into our day. It's about fueling those hours with the right kind of energy. Remember those four energy types? Physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. They're like the secret sauce to keeping our engines running smoothly. Craig Groeschel reminded us that what jazzes you up might not do the same for someone else. It's all about finding your unique energy beat and dancing to it. And hey, it's okay if that rhythm changes from day to day. We're all about experimenting to find what makes us tick. And Chris Bailey? He brought it home with the simple yet powerful truth. The basics matter. Eating right, moving your body, and getting enough sleep. They're like the building blocks for a powerhouse of energy. And to really master your energy, we introduced you to the time flow system. Think of it as your personal energy management toolkit. It's about setting those big, fiery North Stars and breaking them down into doable initiatives and focus blocks. It's a game plan for making your day work for you, not against you. So, feeling pumped to try it out? To make your days less about running on fumes and more about running with purpose? Dive into the time flow system and watch how it transforms your energy levels. Thanks for tuning in, and here's to managing our energy like the champs we are. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.